What's up everyone? Thanks for joining us on another vlog here on the Garden State Koi YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a project where we'll be ripping out an old waterfall that was built incorrectly. We're going to be putting a new pondless waterfall in place and we're going to start by ripping everything out today and hopefully try to get the basin in. That'll be a great start for day one. If we can accomplish all that, we'll be able to get the waterfall built within the next day or so for a three, two to three day project. So this is the waterfall we're going to be redoing in West Milford, New Jersey. This is a pondless waterfall here, and if you look at it and the way the rocks are placed, it looks more like a staircase than a natural waterfall. The homeowner, Cindy, came to the shop up in Warwick and saw a whole bunch of different displays and saw what we could really do, and she wanted that in her backyard. We're going to start today by dismantling the basin here and all these rocks and kind of tears down that wall in a different way, as well as this wall over here, and make it look like more of a natural stream coming out of the woods into the basin. So Ralphie just removed the rock at the top of here. I already saw it, but we needed a good laugh. There is the check valve at the top of the waterfall. That is supposed to blow a hole way down there in the pump vault. So when this waterfall shuts off, all the water in this hose stays in it. Right now, all this is doing is doing absolutely nothing. Make sure you hire a professional or at least the contractor reads the directions. So Ralphie just found another problem. Aquascape vault extension is actually put on backwards. Show him Ralphie right there in that spot that where it slides on. Yep, so right there, that's supposed to be on the bottom and slide onto the vault. But that is not sturdy and that could fall apart at any given time. I'm actually surprised that it hasn't. So another problem we just noticed is that the dog fence here is actually pinned into the liner with metal stake. Make sure if you're putting your net in at the end of the season, dog fence or anything around your pond or waterfall, you do not put these through the liner. Unfortunately, we see this more often than not. One thing that we're going to try to do is recycle as much materials because the access is very hard. We have this yard that we can come up with wheelbarrows, but we cannot take machines into the backyard due to the fact that there's all artificial turf. The artificial turf is for the dogs because Cindy is a dog trainer. So another problem we came across is they have the pump mounted in the vault, once again with no check valve because that was up top, and the electric cord is down here and somehow underneath all the plants and two feet of soil, it goes over that way to the electric. No way to ever replace this pump in the future. Ralphie is gonna die after today, he says. I miss machine. <laughs> he misses the machine. We've been dealing with tons and tons and tons of gravel, shoveling it out bucket by bucket, dumping it up in the woods, saving some of it for later on. So the reason we're dismantling this whole basin is that we want to make sure that it's put in properly. And I can already tell you another problem with this. There is no fabric on top of that liner. We'd like two layers of fabric, one underneath the liner, then a layer of liner, and then on top, another layer of protective fabric. And then we'll put our aqua blocks in there. The old basin is out and I ran out and got some bags of sand. For those in the bottom to level that out and Raphael is tamping it and then gonna take this level that's in front of me here and make that base nice and flat then we can get the liner and fabric back in there but before we do that we actually have to dig a hole for the pump we're gonna use the existing hole we just filled it in with some sand for right now so we can get the proper size before it was a little too large we want a little smaller so the vault fits a little better so we're back at it for day two here in West Milford New Jersey on this pondless waterfall redo I'm gonna go through a little update of what we got done yesterday because we're ready to start building the waterfall as soon as the guys get here with the big cedar tree that's going to be our first element that goes in here it's going to go right over there right behind me as the retaining wall right there it's going to be really cool and that cedar stump is going to go right in there act as a retainer for the hillside as well as some boulders we're going to actually have some water trickling through it it's going to be a really neat aspect before this was so skinny when you looked at the waterfall it looked like it was coming down a little alleyway and we're trying to avoid that when we rebuild this we have that whole entire basin in there six large aqua blocks, a pump vault with an extension. The plumbing will go on the top of the soil only a couple inches down. So if there's ever a problem, we can access it. Unlike before, they had it buried under all those rocks and stuff. And once again, we're waiting for that cedar log to come here because the fabric and everything's ready to go to start building the waterfall. We'll get that in right over there, start placing some rocks and some plants and terracing out this hillside. We're going to cover this basin up so it's not a big gravel area like before. We want to make it look a little smaller where the water disappears. And after we get this bottom 
bottom section done, we can start working on the upper levels. I can't wait to see how this turns out. I love when I can take an old waterfall that looked very unnatural and like a staircase, and in the same space with the, most of the same rocks, recreate something natural. So Ralphie and the guys got here this morning, and they showed up with this beautiful piece of cedar wood. This log and stump is gonna be a really awesome element to this waterfall. Like I said, we wanna bring nature into the backyard. All that rock that was all over there before starting to disappear and gonna disappear into the landscape. But to get this thing into place, Raphael's grabbing the saws all because we got to cut that branch so we could slide the tree in a little further. So one thing that's hard on small backyard waterfalls is getting rocks into place. Carrying it on a piece of fabric like that, we're able to get some medium-sized rocks, and that's going to be a retainer right there to the left side of Felipe. This is going to be a really cool waterfall here. A spill there, a spill back underneath that log. Pull up the right here, a little pool there, and then falling off that log at two different heights. After they get the rock in this corner right here, then we continue our way up the hillside. What's up everyone? It's day three, a lot of finishing touches and the waterfall is almost ready to run. A lot of little plantings, adding moss, finishing the edges up top and this thing looks spectacular. Let's go take a look at that finished product. Isn't that a cool waterfall that we just completed here in West Milford, New Jersey? Thanks for watching this episode on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to tune in next week for another vlog. And if you like what you saw here today, press that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring the bell. It means a lot to me and my team here at Garden State Court. Once again, thanks for watching. See you all next week.